Yes, it is. And one that I know you're very proud to represent. Yes. Tell me about it. Well, it's been around since 1971. Cuisinart, for when I started cooking it, that was the, that's what you use, that's what you called everything in the kitchen from an appliance was called a Cuisinart, Art right. of Cuisine. And they've been the pioneers in developing products and staying current with what's out there. It's a global brand and, and very dependable. So this well, you is know what? actually genius. We're pretty excited about this. And it's our Cuisinart vertical waffle maker with spatula and a set of tongs. I will tell you that if sold separately, this is $85.68 at retail. We we had it on QVC at $55, but we're down to our final quantities. Yeah. We're looking to move out those quantities and make room for new Cuisinart goodies coming in. So we marked it down to $39 and change. But wait, that's not all. We put it on three easy payments of $13.32. I have it for you in cinnamon and in stainless steel. Now, Chef, let's answer the most obvious question first. Why vertical? Well, a couple of reasons. It's it's easier to handle. It's lightweight, and the biggest problem with waffles, waffle irons, is that you got to tuck them away somewhere, and you need to put a pan underneath for spillage. Right. This does not leak. There's no spills. It cooks quickly and vertically. Um, and it you becomes fill it from lighter. The top, right? We fill it from the top. Here, it's got a little clasp. It does not get hot. You open it up. It has the you know the the gauge here, the temperature control. This is. Let's see now this is so we pour it in let me get this one out exactly now what's interesting about this is that you may have a little bit of the top here that can see slice that? off pretty easily what we call that is a chef snack this is a <laughs> <laughs> this or a little cool. extra but you know what you're going to get the hang of this about how to fill it and how are you going to know when it's full you'll see the batter come bubbling up you'll see but the, what yeah. it's never going to do is come bubbling out of the bottom because it cannot and will not leak you don't have to flip these you don't have to do any of that business you no. simply pour Pour the batter in. It comes with a measuring cup, so if you use that measuring cup, you should be just perfect. The, the measuring cup makes a perfect waffle. Now, now remember, waffle batter, as it begins to cook, will expand. And as it expands, it may come up a bit in the top. Don't panic if that happens. Now, if it comes bubbling out the top, you put way too much in. So what you want to do is just kind of moderate with this and learn how to, you know, how to manage just the right amount of batter. But we give you the measuring cup, so you should be fine. Now, I'll tell you also, smother that with a little butter. Yep, a little butter, a little syrup. Oh, wow. This is a funfetti waffle, so we put some, we put some, uh, <laughs> some sprinkles in and there. Some fun goodness in there, exactly. And you see, this is just, it's got, it's got the right texture. Ah, it's easy. And then done. I have another one in, and three minutes later, it's going. And it's cooking up beautifully, too, and I can see it expanding and being beautiful. And we've also used, because they're so easy, we've decided that we can make cakes with them. So besides just breakfast and delicious fruit, berries, maple syrup, and butter, we've actually used it as a layer cake. So. Now, Chef, we should also mention that this guide on the front will determine how... Um, brown yes. and soft or crispy you want the waffle. Now, I tend to be a number three guy when it comes to a waffle iron. I like to be right in the middle. I like one that's a little softer, a little more cake-like. Right. And then some folks like to put it all the way up to five and get them nice and crispy. It all depends on how you love them. And but this is a Belgian waffle. This is a Belgian waffle, a deeper pocket, a little crisper. This one is a chocolate one. So mm. I tend to like them a little crunchier. Yeah. But you, like you said, you can make them either way. We, made, we also make for crispy ones. I cut them into smaller pieces. Ooh, you made like little waffle fries. And I put a little powdered sugar. Look at that. And now this becomes almost like a Zeppeli at the fair. <laughs> right? and, and easy enough to make this, this chocolate and this raspberry syrup oh, here. Oh, nice. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that becomes an afternoon snack or so, or even a dessert with, with or without ice cream. You want to consider this cooking thing a career. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a You're nice pretty good one. at it, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Another good idea for these is to make them with cheese and not and make them nacho style. Great mm. for football season. Perfect for that. Um, so we've got this one, another one going here. Here's another one. This one is another, this is how you like it. Yes. So that's at the three mark. Again, still three minutes. And I tend to like that water bottle look. Because again, I'm a, I'm a chef that picks a lot, you can, as you can see. Um, again, bacon and eggs, right. a tomato waffle. This is lemon poppy seed, which I really, this goes back to the cake flavors. Oh, it's beautiful. And then, then we went outside the box again and made one with cheddar cheese. Is that like a cornbread waffle? It's a cornbread waffle. Nice. Yeah. With a steak. So, lots of different ways to work with this, but what I will tell you, Cuisinart, a brand that has been around for a long, long time. This is a smart new idea from Cuisinart. We are down to our final quantities. That's why we marked this down to a low clearance price of $39.96, 25% savings off the regular QVC price. And then, of course, 
The value here is astounding. If you bought this separately, $85.68. What is our price today? $39.96. And we put it on Easy Pay. Three Easy Payments on your credit card. This is the first day on clearance. I have cinnamon and I have stainless steel. What you don't want to do is wait. These do not leak out of the bottom, Chef. No. They can't leak out of the bottom. They can't leak. I mean, it's actually, they steam, the waffle, not only, uh, uh, it's a non-stick, it steams somewhat. So you get a nice crisp and a lighter waffle. Right. And the machine doesn't get hot. One of the really convenient things about it and, and why it's so smart is it looks good on the tabletop. It's very light and it doesn't leak. Cool. So there's, and there is no cleanup. Now, because of the safety feature here on top, it doesn't overflow. This is, and this is the chocolate waffle, yeah? That's the chocolate waffle, tomato waffle, funfetti, mm. cornbread. And you do a lower and, number? And, and, the lower number will it's, it's almost pudding like in the middle you, it'll be like a flourless chocolate cake almost where you get oh, that runny nice. and again you can put uh small pieces inside like chips etc mm, mm. very or, very fun or a little whip topping mm. yeah these are good <laughs> These chocolates will be good in your raspberry sauce, too. And we're starting to see waffles in restaurants used instead of potatoes and rice and pasta. Under steaks. Have you introduced that in any of your restaurants? Yes. Have you? We, we use it sometimes with fried chicken, which is kind of normal. Oh, of course. Normal. Yeah. Well, we have a waffle cake on the menu made with two chocolate waffles. We actually use these three of them lined up in the restaurant. Our pastry chefs make waffles wow. to order with, uh, for it's Sundays. And say, People love it. Yeah. Uh, and it's a lot to love. 1,200 of these are gone now. We're excited to be able to bring this to you at a low clearance price. Get that easy pay and get these while they last. When they are gone, they are gone for good. Chef David Burke, will you come back and see us? I'd love to. We would like I'd that. Love, love Thank to. you, sir. It's always a pleasure. Nice. Good to have you back, buddy. Thank you. Nice to see you. All right, we're going to check up in there with Mary because I think now. Yes. It's time to talk about.